The art world is a crazy place and I should know, I'm a seasoned professional. There's some great artwork out there and there's also some utter shit. There's pieces of history, there's things that help people bond, there's just some pure entertainment art, but there's also some insanity and I think it's got a bit out of control recently. So uh, today I'm going to be recreating some of the most famous artwork of all time on Canva. So if you don't know what Canva is, it's basically a free design tool that people use if they're kind of a sole trader or if they want to do their own design work and not pay an external designer to do it. It's a cheap, effective way of using sort of some basic Photoshop capabilities uh, without paying for Photoshop. Right, so we're here on Canva and I'm going to be recreating the artwork. So the first artwork is by Damien Hurst. It's a bunch of dots. I think this one should be pretty easy. It's literally just a bunch of circles. Um, but it's worth about 26 grand, so um, in fact, I think this one's probably worth more. This, this is like a smaller one, so he did like a real like a selection of these dot ones, and I think some of them were like 80 grand, 100 grand. So uh, this is like one of the cheaper ones, but he's literally just making a bunch of dots. <laughs> this is gonna be really fucking easy. I don't even know why I'm bothering with this one. I can know he's basically used the Canva decent, like the default colors. Right, we're almost there. I've got my grid, but I just need to kind of like make sure the colors are all kind of aligned. So there's like a darker blue here, and there's like a weird greeny colour. This isn't the hardest challenge I've done, I'll be honest. This is, this isn't, I thought this was going to be a bit more difficult. There we go, a uh, Damien Hurst piece. We'll put it next to the original, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's quite similar, it's not a difficult one to do. But let's move on to the next piece of artwork. Next up we've got William Scott, who did Odeon 3 uh, in 1966. I think this one's kind of easy. Uh, the textures are going to be quite hard to replicate, but like the actual sort of shapes and concept is pretty easy to duplicate. If I type in like paper, yeah I could literally get a... okay. <laughs> Well, there we go. So I've, I've got a fucking paper texture. That'll do. Okay, this is good. This is good. Then I can put like a few of them on top of each other, like just to give it some like a bit more texture. You know what? That doesn't even look bad. That kind of looks like it's been drawn. Right, we'll whack this down here. That's where that was, wasn't it? That's right in the centre. Then we've got two sort of shitty looking triangles. Oh, you know what though? I could use that as the outside. Oh, I'm a bloody genius, I've got to say. Look at this. That'll do, won't it? That's basically the same thing. That was easy. Ah, oh, three grand in the bank. Nice. Alright, we move on to Mondrian. Now, I actually kind of like Mondrian, but it's just like the most basic things. They were done like a while back, like 1929, this one. So, um, it was quite ahead of its time. This one's worth 32 million, so someone definitely liked it. Let's start with the red, because that's like the, the obvious one, right? The red literally is the entire thing. There's like fuck all else on it. This is like such an iconic piece of art that it's really obvious, like from two elements, so... Uh, I don't think this one's going to cause too many problems. But that's it, basically. We're pretty much done. Right, there we go. Laundry and done as well. Th these are proving much easier than I was expecting, but I think they're kind of, you know, they look all right. Uh, pretty close to the originals. The thing I don't understand is someone pays £32 million for that, and that's, like, easy to create yourself. And I know, like, you're buying into the piece of art itself and the story behind it and the artist behind it, but... If you like the look of it, why can't you just make it yourself? It literally in Canva, like I've just done. It took me three or four minutes, and uh, I've done basically the same thing. Next up, we've got another Damien Hurst, and this one's called Mickey uh, for obvious reasons. It's Mickey Mouse, um, but this one's worth nine hundred grand, like almost a million pounds, right? Uh, and it's just a bunch of circles. So I think this one's going to be easy to create again. Uh, but let's see. This one's like a speed one. I'm gonna see how fast I can I can recreate this one. They look virtually the same, but mine just doesn't look as much like Mickey. Screw it, Mickey's done. That one was worth a million, easy mill. Next we've got Mark Rothko. Um, 25 million this one's worth. It's just a couple of colours. If I type in paint, what do I get? Like, what, what comes up? Aha, that's painty. It's like a really dark green might work. And then we do that, send that to back, and then we just lower the opacity and we see what type of texture we get over the top of it. See, that's virtually it, right? We might have been stumped on Mark Rothko. No wonder it's worth 25 mil. We can't recreate it in Canva. It's too straight at the edges, so we need like a kind of... Like a paint border would work. I think, I think that would probably set us in good stead. I'd say we're done. We've recreated a £25 million painting there in Canberra. And I, I think it's pretty decent. It's pretty close to the original. Last but definitely not least, we've got the uh, £153 million Marilyn Monroe by Andy Warhol. Now, 
I don't know how I'm going to do this, but my plan is to get a picture of Marilyn Monroe and like add all the colours in myself. I'm going to whack that in, right? It's too close, right? It's only her head, so we need to crop it out. This looks dreadful. Right, this this is this is hard to do. This is hard to do. Oh, look at that. They've blooming got it for us. So we'll whack one of these over her eyes. And then she's got yellow on her eyes and in her hair. That's actually going to haunt me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Jesus Christ. This has been like a genuinely interesting experiment because like even though... It's literally just me making art in Canva. I've kind of seen about like all the elements that make up a piece of art, and actually looking at this now, like obviously it looks nothing like the original, but the paint in the background, having a pink background genuinely makes or breaks it, because with a black background, it looks awful. But I've started adding the pink, and it actually already looks better. Right, um, I think we'll leave it there because uh, I'm slightly traumatised of what I've created. The whole idea of the video is basically just an experiment to see how easy is it to create art in Canva on a free design platform, but also how easy is it to replicate really expensive famous works of art. And I think I've done an alright job. I mean, besides the traumatic Marilyn Monroe you can see on the screen at the moment, the rest of them look decent. I think I've done quite a good job. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, check out all my other videos. See you later. Bye.